Hello! I meant to make this video a couple weeks ago when I was still pretty high on this rather exciting sense of accomplishment. A while ago I was watching a friend's video on self-confidence, link in the description because it's good and you should watch it, and I was struck by how difficult it often is for me to acknowledge that I have done a thing and that the doing of things is an accomplishment worthy of pride. I am now 28 years old. I am a grown-ass, well-educated woman, and I still have what feels like a childlike sense of insecurity when it comes to acknowledging those pieces of myself. In fact, simply saying those words out loud feels strange and foreign, but also exciting and liberating. At the end of March, I participated in this thing here in Missoula called Tell Us Something. It's this wonderful live storytelling event that was inspired by the Moth podcast, and I got up in front of a room full of hundreds of strangers and told a story about the time that I was living out of my car, which is a story that a lot of people, most people in fact, have really only ever heard me tell in passing. So I did this thing, and I know that I seem really like bubbly and outgoing when I'm here in this space, but like remember that I am in a room completely by myself right now, so uh, I am actually kind of shy and really terrified of public speaking. Even in casual social settings, if there's a bunch of people that I don't know, any appearance that I give off of being like comfortable and cool socializing with strangers is pure facade, so it uh, snaps to me for having people fooled sometimes, I guess. Anyway, my knees were shaking the entire time that I was up there. My introductory bio says something about being terrified of public speaking and that sort of like front-loaded my nerves, and that was really empowering actually. There were a couple of times where I could feel myself sort of calming down I thought, okay, maybe I can like steady my knees and keep them from shaking right now, but no, I could not in fact do it. And it was pretty easy for me to say, okay, fine, whatever, let's just move on because of the fact that I had said, hey, I'm really fucking nervous and afraid right now, all right? Everybody cool? Everybody cool? Cool. There was also this one moment somewhere near the middle where I said something and everybody laughed and for like a few seconds there I was like, fuck yeah, I got this, whew! But then I went back to being terrified, but oh, that was a really great great couple seconds. Even though I was terrified and knee shaking for the entire 10 minutes that I was up there, I was also really excited. It was a very excited, good kind of terrified. Now some of this is owed to the fact that this is just a very special event. The audience, the people who go to this are incredibly encouraging, and there was a workshop beforehand so I had already gotten to meet and sort of get to know the other storytellers that night, and being a part of this thing with them was also really inspiring and encouraging and empowering. It was dead center in the lineup, so before and after I got to listen to all of these other wonderful stories, and that is also helpful <laughs> in this kind of situation. But the main thing here is that I did this thing, and I feel so proud of myself, but at the same time it also feels kind of inappropriate to say that. Like, I am proud of myself. It sounds braggy or I don't know. Humility is important, but for me at least, this also feels like something that I have been so culturally conditioned into that I don't even have the emotional language, I guess, to properly process this feeling. Much of this is quite likely tied to the way that we women in particular are socialized to talk about ourselves. The fine line between confidence and arrogance is always fraught, and the voice inside my own head diminishing my accomplishments is pretty much always the loudest. And it's not just this thing. I look back on the last, I don't know, decade of my life and I think about school and living abroad and different jobs that I've had. It's it's all of it. I think I told a total of three people here in Missoula that I was doing this thing, my boyfriend, my roommate, and my boss, uh, because I didn't want to encourage people to come to this thing that had the very real possibility of being utterly humiliating. But in retrospect, it turned out really well and I had a lot of fun and so now I'm kind of bummed, because uh, it would have been great to have everybody be at the thing. But equally important is to be able to say to myself and here in my public stuff saying space that I have done a thing that I am proud of. And hopefully, ideally, in so doing, give other people that much more permission to do the same. So please, below, let me know something that you have done recently that you are particularly proud of, or perhaps more broadly, in general, the thing that you are most proud of. What personal accomplishment matters the most to you? Please share, because I genuinely want to know. Also, Tell Us Something is launching their YouTube channel, but they need to get to 100 subscribers in order to claim the URL. So if that's a thing that you're interested in, I'll put the link below so that you can subscribe. Bye! Got him. Got him. Nailed it.